This is the uh, good morning from, oh we can say sunny Ludlow because the sun's coming out, found another cracking park up, we've seen this, look at that, maximum daily charge £3.20, vans and motorhomes permitted however daily charge, so as long as we're away before 8am or we put another ticket in, we're next to the police station as well, that's a bonus and you even get feline protection. Or is he trying to bite you? Or is he getting you? Oh, you naughty boy. I need to get myself some new shoes because these shoes have got a hole in them. So we're going to charity shops. <laughs> I've got plastic bags on my feet, I know. You've also... Oh, this is a nice shop, isn't it? Look at my new coat. <laughs> That's, in a charity that's a, shop. That's a good charity shop purchase, that, Ellie Bob. Is, yeah. How much was that? It was £10. Ten whole pounds? Yeah, but it goes to Sue Ryder, so we're okay. And it goes with well with your feather. And I think I look a bit French. You think you look a bit French, do you? I think you look lovely, darling. Oh, Wendy. Oh. Thank you. I've just uh, had to run back to the Oh, thank you for that. With You're so coat. kind. Yeah. It's a kind of guy, yeah? Huh? You are very kind. Yeah. But we need some breakfast now. Oh gosh, we need. There's a cafe just here. Oh, fantastic! Have you checked prices? Not many. It does I look very nice. I haven't noticed. So I have got the, the apple slice. It does look very it nice. It does look beautiful, that doesn't it? And how has got the uh, black American? What's it? What's the pudding you've got there? I've got a chocolate and caramel. Do you think? Total, whatever you say. Do you think we should go half and half? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you picked a good one there, Helly Bobs, didn't you? Yeah. Got some of them pastries, can you see? Yes. And the, the nice lady makes them all herself. Look at that. Fantastic. We was just ch chatting to the uh, young lady that's, ooh, she it's her cafe, she's just opened, it's just called Claudia, really, and she bakes everything herself, her and her partner, her boyfriend, and they, they were beautiful, recommend that place. I just spotted this place, hotel, it says, Is that Feathers Hotel, that looks very interesting. That's fantastic. We need to go and in, we need to go and investigate that, don't we? It's a blue car. Let's look at the. There's two blue parks. What's it say on that one? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get those things for you soon. Yeah. Just see if there's a bar or... Oh, I think it's a bit fancy inside. Yeah. That's an antique mason's plate. Oh, there's two. Yeah. Ah. I think we'll come back here. What do you think? I've just checked on booking.com for a room in that hotel tonight and it was £101 for one night. I saw it on uh, Trivago for 90 Oh, you would do, wouldn't you? And what's the interesting fact that you've got about that? Yeah, well, time? the New York Times um, rated it the most handsome inn in the world. And it's been a hotel for 400 years. The shoe situation's getting pretty desperate now because oh, I'm actually really squeaking. As the, floor, as the floor gets wet, I start to squeak. You can probably hear me. Feet. Look at that window there. Oh, wow, look at that. Well, I think you're I'm struggling with charity shops. 
and my shoes are squeaking. I might just have to go in there, but I think stuff's expensive around here, you know. Look at this. Quite 90 quid. Oh, it's too dear. But I mean, they're good stuff, but it's, I'm not paying yeah. that much. What about that hospice place over there? I wonder if there's a Sports Direct. Yeah, I doubt <laughs> it. Look at that building. Uh, the buildings are just wonderful. I think there's going to be... We'll have a couple of drinks later on and a couple of these nice pubs. That's what I'm talking about. It looks yeah, very good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we might be getting lunch there <laughs> a little bit. It's a Christmas shop. Right? Yeah. All, all year round Christmas gifts and souvenirs. Yeah. Oh. You know what I found interesting, Helen, though? Yeah. About a lot of these places, what we've come to, these little villages around Shropshire, that there's, oh, it's gone quiet now, but there's a lot of traffic through the centre, whereas a lot of other towns you go to, or have been to, they, they, they pedestrianise it all. And I was sort of against all the pedestrianisation. But, I know, but, Come to think of it, it is a bit of a pain. I mean, there's some big lorries coming through and that, and it's a little bit of a, a bit dangerous. I've got two. I've only got one, that's actually bought me, which is a wrong dressing gown. Yeah, that's the only one I have. That looks interesting, doesn't it? What is it? It's a tapas place. Is that a possibility for later? Yes. Oh, that does look nice. Yeah, ask. What later on would you advise us to go? Tonight? Yeah. That's a cracking little place. Uh, we've just booked a table for four o'clock. I've asked if we could have one of these bay windows. <laughs> they, they look, yeah, when I get on it, they will fall in. That'll be that. That will definitely test the integrity of the uh... <laughs> of the wood and the work machine. <laughs> What? Oh, does it? Is that what it said? And I'm walking through it. <laughs> it's because I was watching the camera. Helen's decided she wants to live here. <laughs> I want that one there. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> They're not as dead. I quite like that one at 327. Yeah, yeah. That'd do me, Helen. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's sold that one at the bottom. Oh. That sort of thing we like, yeah. isn't it? I think that these things are so huge at the time, so you can go a couple of ways. Listen to me shoes. I wonder how much this is. It was £9 per person to come in. And I bought Helen a, a guide because that'll keep her happy. But I thought rather than stopping at every sign and reading it, we could read that as we go around. It was built between 1086 and 1094. You cross the moat, that's, that's a moat. So basically, they had prickly bushes. <laughs> There's no worse than a prickly bush, is there? <laughs> I always used to think they put crocodiles in it. Well, yeah. To your left, 
you will see the blocked arch in the keep and a stone ledge where an earlier stone bridge would have rested. See that. Directly above that one for some reason. I think that's somebody else really got in to do it and he measured it wrong. I think it were a bit like uh, Only Fools and Horses when they put that chandelier up. There's a pub down here called the Rose and Crown and I've just done my research and it's the oldest pub in Ludlow and it's owned by the Jules Brewery which sometimes they can sort of ruin them a bit. Uh, just hope it's, it's there, yeah, let's hope it's uh, traditional. I think it will be traditional with a Yeah. Shall we have a quick half in here, Helen? Yes, please. One of the most ancient public houses in England, and it's trade continually as an inn. Of course, a lot of these uh, old pubs used to be like houses and things, so the buildings are old. A bit apprehensive to what it's going to be like inside. I want it to be original. They've got some bizarre crisp flavours here. Uh, what's that? Herefordshire sausage and mush mustard. I can't see without my glasses. What's that flavour? Your assets as bad as mine, isn't it? Is it wild mushroom and garlic? Woodland, woodland, woodland mushroom and some, something It's garlic. easy for me just to show it to the people. So it's mushroom and garlic and sausage and mustard. We're living dream and we've got a couple of halves. Helen's got the chocolate, half a chocolate stout, what she had in Shrewsbury. Do you know what? And I've I got, think it's missing. I've got half it, a pound. Cheers. Cheers, darling. I think it needs to be more full bodied. Mm. So we've seen a lot of these down here, Jules Brewery, and we've never even heard of them. And they're a big brewery apparently, but they're very local to this area, aren't they? Shropshire. They are another level. <laughs> How good are they? Yeah. I need to remember them, so I'm going to order them. I'm going to order a box of them. What uh, what company make those? Mushroom and garlic. They're fantastic. I mean, they're amazing, but they are superb. Two... What does that say? Two something. Is that two farmers? Mm -mm. Yeah, it must be, because look, there's two farmers on the packet. These are quality crisps, aren't they? They're really good crisps. Thank you. Thank you. It's a really nice coffee, I think. Helen's decided that we're getting a coffee there. We need it, it's a bit chilly. This is the nicest church cafe. How good are these cups and saucers? Oh, they're oh, they're nice, aren't they? Do you know they've that. got that Japanese thing? Yeah. Them, they? They've got Wi-Fi. 
but it's very modern. One of the oldest buildings in Ludlow, it's called the Reader's House. I don't know what it means. The Reader's House? Yeah, I could pretend I know what it means, make up some story. But did you know that there are over 500 listed buildings in Ludlow? Nearly as many as Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury was amazing, wasn't it, for it listed is. buildings? Is this it? Oh, there it is, look. Yeah. You can tell it straight away, can't you? Yeah. So this house, the original house, dates back to 1320, but it was rebuilt in 1616, I believe, and it's remained unchanged since then. It's wonderful, isn't it? It really is. It's funny when you think it's like a conversion, but it's, uh, it's from 1600s. <laughs> The house was made from 840 pieces of timber weighing 28 tonnes and coming from some 45 mature oak trees they were all cut and shaped off site and reassembled in place using 1100 oak pegs. The original assembly guide marks on the beams remain visible to this day. If you have good eyesight you can see Anno DN 1660 the OK carved above the second floor of the porch to mark completion of the project. It's actually a private residence and as we're looking at it two gentlemen came out to walk the dogs and I said to him I said is this a private residence? He says yes we live there. <laughs> <laughs> and I said do you get a lot of people gawping through windows? He says yeah but we don't mind. Yeah, Lovely they've, they've bloke, left, actually. Yeah, yeah they've left the door open ajar so you can have a bit of a nose out. Oh uh, yeah I was tempted to say. Can we come and have a look? <laughs> can we come for tea? <laughs> But it's all 17th century inside. Yeah. Oh, you imagine living in oh. something like that? Gosh, that'd be my dream. Have we missed anything? This is the problem when we come to these places and we wing it. We don't really, other than reading a few quick things on his phones. We don't know what we've missed, do we? And to say there's over 500 uh, grade two or above listed buildings. What I found uh, yesterday when we were in Shrewsbury and we got to, we were fortunate to go into some of these properties and go up on the higher floors. They're in a bit of a state, aren't they? A lot of them. You feel like you're going to fall through the roof. You see, you think that like they'd make companies have to stick to a certain type of signage, wouldn't you? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Rather than do these silly plastic things. Yeah. When we've had his tea, his dinner, we'll come try a couple of the pubs out. Because that George looks lovely. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And we need to go to that, the Feathers, aren't we? The Feathers Hotel, yeah. Isn't this where we went? Well, it's not, is it? No. Look at the walls here, how they bow out. Look at that brickwork. That's like a far built a wall, that. There's so many of these like sort of alleyways and passages, I could just spend all day exploring them. Are you hungry, Helly Bobs? Yeah. I'm excited about this because this place looks. Is that motorbike going to ruin my video? This place looks fab and it's called the Angel. And we've booked a table and we're going to sit in that booth up there. Aren't we, Helly Bobs? Yeah. 
Oh, that's how it's in too, what do you say? Wow. Why are you sitting, darling? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, I must have got to take a drink now. Don't want to get my books, do I? We were going to go to Benidorm this week and uh, so we've done the next best thing, we've come for some tapas in Ludlow, of all places. <laughs> we're not having the lobster thermidor after. We're not, are we going Dutch? And the oysters, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we're we going Dutch, you Spanish love. <laughs> the food has arrived and we've got a good mix here. Right, I don't know what half them are. There's a meatball. Meatballs, yes. obviously. The cheese with the honey and the... That's, that's like cheese and honey Super. and fig, like a fig cake. Uh, potatoes, bravos. Chorizo and apple sauce. Something Helen's ordered, some fishy thing. <laughs> some like chicken and she's kebab. Bring some bread as well. Oh, some bread as well. We've got a selection of bread. I like it. I know it. Love that. What's your verdict, tell mm. you, Is it mmm? That was gorgeous, were not it? I really enjoyed it. Some really amazing flavours. What was your favourite? The anchovy thing. The anchovy thing. It was like a piece of bread with marinated, marinated, marinated <laughs> anchovies on it. And they were like garlicky with sort of mayo and rocket and things. And I squeezed some lemon juice yeah, on. It was. It sounds terrible, right? But it was just so nice. It was very fresh. It was wasn't like it? fresh and yeah. not like anchovies, like you'll know them from a tin. They were, I think they must have been fresh ones and then they've marinated them. Yeah, up there too. And what's on tonight, I'm just wondering, yeah, just nervous. So you think that will have been a balcony, do you think? I don't... <clears throat> we've got a pencil drawer of the building without these... Um, what these things call there's a name for, what the... Is it like a... it's like a dormer wing? Uh, no, no like... No, there's, there's, there's another building in town wing, with a, one down there. Right. There's only two buildings with them. OK. I don't know what they're called now, I can't remember. So the pencil drawing we've got goes right back off. Oh, 100 years, that's more than 100 years. Yeah. And they were flat windows. OK. And it actually wasn't black and white either. Alright. So I think they skimmed that over or something. And what's in the top rooms? Is, is there anything? The apartments. The apartments are there. Just right. one. Yeah. One. Wow. Oh, I, mean, well. I mean, if you look at that, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? Yeah. It could. Yeah. I love the old lamps. Yeah. They really set it off. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's been really it's interesting been lovely and lovely to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. And we love your restaurant. That was a famous tea room up there called Degrees. See where it says Wildwood? Oh, yeah. Very famous. Really? Uh, people, you know, even coaches used to park along here. It was a bit like a. If you're from the north, you know, what was it? What's the big northern tea room? Is that in Harrogate? Betty's. 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 Yeah, tea room. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was like Betty's before Betty's was Betty's. Mm. Right. You know, they called nippies, weren't they? I, you know, the girls in the. Oh yeah, uniform. Yeah, they were called yeah. them nippies. So it was Wigmore Forest. Right, yeah, and this one, well, apart from that building, you, you think that building would have been there? That would have been there. But this sort of all Wigmore oh, Forest. And Martin was telling us that Nelson himself, in the second window, stood in that window, <laughs> <laughs> and he addressed the people of Ludlow to thank them it's not for the. Life, is it? <laughs> it's what? No, it's not like. No. <laughs> to to thank them for the timber. But that's funny. And <laughs> <laughs> he did have two women on the go at the same time. Did sure he? Well, he, he lost a leg, something. didn't he, Nelson? Did he lose his leg? And an eye? Yeah, was that Nelson? <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, was. it was an Harold, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we have these sort of um, parlour pubs. Right. Do you know what a parlour pub? Do you know what a pub is? No. Well, we've got two here. There's three, but there's two I would only go in. One up there, two on the left. Yeah. 
and you're about halfway down there, you'll see it on the left, next right. to the butchers. Yes, Our pub yes. Was, um, we, had, we had a rest, a pub that we turned into a restaurant. It was a parlour pub, mm. and um, basically the, the old lady who lived there, you rang the bell, she'd come and pour your beer. Right. That's how it started. So they sort of modernised it, kept the idea, kept the character, and kept the um, enthusiasm for doing it the old-fashioned way. Right. And there's another one at the bottom of Cove Street on the left. Yeah. Opposite the entrance to Tesco's on the left. Okay. And if there's a lamp on outside, it's open. You know, people doing it, not just for the money, just doing it for what yeah. they want to do. For the, yeah, the, we, we love the history and that, don't mm. we? Everywhere we go, we like to go in sort of the oldest pub or the one that's yeah. the most sort of authentic, mm. don't we? So. Yeah, I think um, you should go in a parlour pub. We've been chatting to that guy who owns that restaurant for ages, haven't we? It's called Martin. You yeah, need to go there. Yeah. What a lovely chap. Yeah. And what a brilliant restaurant. And some it's amazing so nice. stories. And amazing food. Now, he's told us about all the people that live down here, down the street. We can't really tell you because it's not very yeah, professional. But, rich. <laughs> but there's a lot of rich, wealthy people live on this street here. Yeah, and uh, so we're going to you're have talking a, at least a million pounds. Yeah, the min minimum million. To have a residential so we're going house to have a look. down here. Because I think we fit in quite well, don't we, Randy? Yes, I could live on here. I could. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one for sale, Helen. Yeah. You can. Uh, what when I've got fifty thousand subscribers? <laughs> yeah. You can. Uh, the, the life I've become a customer. We'll we'll move to Ludlow. <laughs> we'll be regulars in that restaurant, won't we? We'll be yeah. sat there. Yeah. He's told us so many stories. Ooh, yeah. listen. I'm really excited. It's the best pub I've ever been in. Do you know it's like yeah. stepping oh, back in time? Like it's it's the best pub I've ever been in. But he's just um, <laughs> put the application for a bit. It's always it is. I'm being honest. Recently, you know? And he charged me now another friend. Do you agree? It's pretty it's true. Really it's really nice. fantastic. Yeah. 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 This is the sort of pub we should have. It's like it is. It's like going back in time, isn't it? It's cost me nearly a grand and a half so far. It's because I because I had the architect come in and do drawing. We've got a stout and I've got a pail. Cheers. Because I've asked to put food to put a lean to on and to build a brick wall and to put parking space in. A half. Where the, business comes from. the best pub ever. 
Is that your new favourite? Yeah, but I, I'm a little bit disappointed because it's not always been a pub. It's a modern... Now it's, an the, it's an interpretation. Now, a lot of these pubs are, are done to look old, but that is the best example ever, isn't it? It, it is. It was so authentic. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. But we've heard of another one. And it's called, it's just a doorway. And what's it called? It's, it's the purple door, number 14, and it's called the Dog Hangs Well. It's called the Dog Hangs Well. If the light's on, you can go in, and it's a purple door. So it sounds a bit dodgy, that, yeah, doesn't it? Walk down some kind of well, channel or something. We're heading there now. Exciting. Exciting, isn't it, Ellen? It is, I'm so excited. I got excited then about that pool. I really did. That looks like another potential, doesn't it? Yeah, you old boy. Amazing. That is old world, isn't it? Yeah. It's like stepping into a different era, isn't it? It is. It? We're very excited. It's down here somewhere, we think we've got it right. And she said, if the light is on outside, the pub is open. Is that... Is and I can see a light out there. here. There's a light. I just... I'm a bit scared walking in filming. I, I better... Turn the camera off and film when we get... That's it. The dog hangs well. Are this you going to... Are you going to do that? Are you going to go in there? Yes. Let's go, on, go in. Go on, then. <laughs> Is it here? I guess you must say. If you heard that chat that was just coming out, we said it's utterly magnificent. It's like someone's front room. Oh, it's even better than the last one. It's going to be too dark to film. I know, but just film me now on the shades. <laughs> oh, hello, darlings. Yes, can you just go to the bar and get me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> We'll go through the other side. I'm a bit, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit nervous. What? Filming. Oh, well, you go first. I don't know if there's rooms upstairs. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Now let's take pictures. You can take a quick photo as long as then oh. it all goes away. No, oh, that's fine. Oh, it's not going to say that's not yeah, fair. That's not <laughs> crazy. Yeah, you've you've been sent right. by the lady from the Blood yeah, Bay. Oh, where we've just Amanda. Been. Is she called Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. yeah. She said we've got to come in here. Well, that's fine, but you've got to buy a drink. Oh, we're buying a drink. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we're definitely yeah. buying no, a drink. No, no, no. <laughs> Did you the pub wear a funny hat? It was an interesting character, wasn't it? Well, it's a new thing, isn't it? Are pubs? We're going it's to the investigate. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're not. We're going to open one. <laughs> Why don't we? Shut up. We could open Sheffield's first parlour pub. Well, that was fun. He was, was It's been wonderful to see you all again. <laughs> the brake lights of this car are reflecting on your face. Does it look it, bright? Right? Do I look yeah. like a devil? You look like it's red light district. <laughs> well, we have had a wonderful day in Ludlow. We have. Absolutely love it. This sort of trip around Shropshire is amazing. It has. Shrewsbury, fantastic. Ludlow, amazing. Yeah, Where secret pubs. Absolutely. Amazing restaurant Brilliant. we went in. And, uh, yeah. Lots of history, lots of interesting people. 
So yeah, look forward to the next one. Who knows where we're going to be? We've no idea. But we're just going to wing it. We'll see there. Okay. See there. It looks like Dick Forsyth. Fort Guy Fawkes is <laughs> come to stay. It looks like Dick Force is a bloody novelist. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I meant to say Guy Fawkes, you know. You kidding me? Oh look, what's that one there? Oh I think that's still. So... Yeah. We, need, we can't just do every public world, darling. No, but that does no, look interesting. It does look interesting, but it's not going to be any better than those that we've no, been to, is it? No, probably not. My favourite charity shop's along here. Is it? It was good, that charity shop, it wasn't was, it? Yeah. The women's uh, merchandising skills were on another level. Oh, look, there's uh, that little was it this street? I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the little cafe that's really nice. Oh, right, yeah. It was nice. And that's the French restaurant. Oh, right, the yeah. The French pantry. Is that your French restaurant? Bonjour, accent? ça va, ça va bien, merci et toi. Oh, very good. <laughs> Fluent. <laughs>